Welcome to a video that will show examples on how to integrate using the six basic trig integral formulas. Here's our first example. We want to integrate two times sine of five x with respects to x. So we'll be applying this formula here. Because of the five x, we'll have to perform a u substitution. Let's let u equal five x. So differential u is going to be equal to five dx. Now there's not a five in the integrand, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is solve this for dx. So if I divide both sides by five, we can say that one-fifth du is equal to dx. Now let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u. We have the integral and then we have two times dx is equal to one-fifth du. So we'll have two times one-fifth and then du, and then sine 5x is just going to be sine u. Let's go ahead and write this one more time. We're going to have two fifths sine u du. And now we can just apply the basic integral formula. We're going to have two fifths times, this will be negative cosine u plus c. So we'll have negative cosine u, but u is 5x plus c, so the result is negative two-fifths cosine five x plus c. Let's go and take a look at another example. Here we have the integral of x squared cotangent x cubed dx. Notice in its current form it doesn't fit the basic integral formula for cotangent u. But since we have x cubed here and x squared here, this should remind us of u substitution. If we let u equal x cubed, then differential u is going to be equal to three x squared dx. Notice our integrand does have x squared dx in it. So again, let's go ahead and solve this for x squared dx by dividing both sides by three. So one third du is equal to x squared dx. So now we'll go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u. We know that x squared dx is equal to one third du. So again, this simplifies nicely. We're gonna have one third du and then cotangent x cubed becomes cotangent u. So now we can apply our basic integral formula for a cotangent u. We're gonna have one third Then we'll have natural log absolute value of sine u plus c. Of course, u is equal to x cubed. And there we have it. I think we'll go ahead and stop here on this video. We'll take a look at two more examples in part two.